Welcome back all, Daz from Moderator Techniques here. Just a very, very quick video this week. We're, what we're gonna look at doing is a little bit of fun with Arduino and making a simulated bin fire. So let's get cracking. All right, so what we've got here, we got a very, very basic schematic on how this works. Three LEDs to give the different colors. I'll step you through the wiring schematics. So now, as always with a Nano, you can, as always with a Nano, you can power it either from the USB, which I normally do when I'm bench testing, because you've got to upload the sketch, it just makes it a lot easier. Or around the layout room, I use a five volt DC um, Arduino power bus. So that just goes into your, your VIN or voltage in and your ground. And then on the on the outside here, what we do, we end up taking the ground off the nano. We use the, the ground off here to the to the power rail. And then what we do, we power that. Uh, we power the LED cathodes or the negatives with that. So this sketch here requires three pins to be initialized. So um, pins 12, 11, and 10. So 12 being for the red, 11 being for the yellow LED, and 10 being for the white. So when you connect up these 12, 11, and 10 digital pins, they're actually connected to the, the anode or the positive side of the LED, and that's very important else they won't fire off. Now, currently in picture here, I've got a 1K resistor. Now, in reality, my three different LEDs had three different resistors, uh, purely because different manufacturers, different colors, all getting the same power however they had different intensities and i just didn't like the way how one uh, color overpowered the others and the, the the one i had most trouble with was the um the warm white or the white led so that's pretty well it with um how it's all wired quite a simple uh connection there so what i do we'll quickly go through this sketch as i explain this sketch is not by myself it's by the the great dr jeffrey bunzer um so obviously one of the, the legends of the microprocessor Arduino word, so I will link to where this sketch can be found below. So as a, I'm no expert in this, but I will just quickly go through the sketch in how I understand it to work. So here we go. So the first part, we, we define the pins, uh, sorry, define the pins with the LED. So the red on the 12, yellow 11, and white on 10. And as explained before, we talked about the sketch side of things. Um, these pins are connected to the anode or the plus side of each of the LEDs. So then we've got this control pin. Now, I didn't really go into this control pin too much. Control pin is on pin number 14 on the Arduino, which is analog zero pin. So this pretty well decides whether the, the fire is gonna run in an on or an off state. When we connect the pin to the ground, or the low side it's like turning the the fire off or the sketch off so when we leave it unconnected or in a high state it's like turning the fire back on so to speak so the setup here is what that actually is here that's purely at the start we we tell the arduino which pins are for the leds and the control pin so that's just telling it they're all all the leds are outputs and they, they, they're they digitally written to well, low state. So with the low state, obviously that's also make sure all the LEDs are turned off at, at some point in time and don't always just stay on. So where the looping comes into it is this is where the Arduino keeps doing the same thing over and over again or in a loop to print, pretend it's like a, a fire that is, that is burning steadily. For each cycle of the loop, it checks if the red LED should be on or off based on the random timing and also whether the yellow and the, the white LEDs are, should be on and off based on the random timing. Then it waits for a little time before it goes through again and, and just repeats it in, in a looping fashion. So the next part of this, we've got the, the integer time. Okay, so Dr. Bunzer, when he's written this, has obviously used this also for a television sketch to, to, in, to simulate um, a tube, like an old school tube television. So. With this, I'll call it now the, the TV tuning function, and we'll liken that across to the fire very soon. So, so basically, this this section of the sketch is is like the helper that helps the to decide whether LEDs are on or an off state. If you've turned off the fire using the control pin, it says everything should be off. 
otherwise it randomly decides which color should be on based on the given percentage so this is where this talks about this random 0 to 100 time on and then returns to 1 and that's just it's a random from there so the program is like so the best way to probably liken this is so the, the program is like a game where the Arduino pretends to control the uh, the color different colors of a of a file burning the, the fire turns on and off randomly and you can adjust how often each color appears by changing the time on as we said which is that that phrasing there in the valleys of the TV tuning function so hopefully that sort of gives you some sort of idea how this runs in very very layman's terms how I might understand it let's have a quick word from our sponsor pcbway.com this video is proudly sponsored by pcbway.com if you're a tinkerer inventor or advanced electrical engineer PCB way have you covered they are passionate about PCBs but PCB way do not stop there they are also into 3d printing injection molding and CNC machining check out their awesome services in the link below and also a special offer to anyone who supports my channel so there we go the the finished product there so it's a, a nice little addition a little bit of a fun project quite easily put together here's a little guy just here sorry for the quality of footage um, I'm just trying to get some sort of understanding of what it may look like so um, you obviously can see my my automated light system in the background is going on and off as well. That's what you can hear the, the relays going um, in the background there. I suppose the only thing to, to play around with at this point in time would be whether you wanted to, if you wanted to do it on a building, say like a, a, some sort of fire to this station building to the right, you might want to look at probably more LEDs and intensify it. So bring down the, 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 the resistor value that is so we can, so it just gives you a more intense flame uh, the other thing i might look at doing is playing around with some sort of smoke device so something similar that would be in a in a locomotive just to give that a bit of a go to see what that might look like moving forward so as always i always have three questions so number one what we're going to do is would this be the type of project that you might put together if so make sure you comment below number two if so how, what sort of tweaks could I could I give it? Or have you used something very similar that might be a little bit more flexible or a little bit easier to, to put together? And number three, as always, if there's any glaring areas I've made here, please comment below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon, like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Technology.